Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it's been an interesting day, the first day of padded practice. Uh, I've got my man Game Time, Brian, and his crew on here, and um, I've got actually something that's kind of gotten to my crawl there from Walker Wade, but I'll answer that at my fireside chat. Uh, but the Joneses have a bit of a problem right now, um, actually quite a bit of a problem, and this thing started from Green Bay, and maybe Jerry Jones would be wise not to keep holding everything over everybody's head about Green Bay and trying to try to do something about it. Because um, we know that everybody has been pissed at us losing, you know, against Green Bay, which is typical because we always end up getting pissed because we lost in the playoffs when, you know, we're expected to do better things. Or at least they build up the hype so much that we're expected to do big things. I don't know if you really can put us there when you think about the lack of activity when the Cowboys literally don't have a linebacker. They just say, position flex, a safety, that's 207 pounds. He can play linebacker. A uh, defensive end, he can play tackle, and, and a tackle, well, he can play the one technique. It's okay. They're constantly taking players out of position instead of going out and getting the position they need, being cheap, okay? They're the kind of people that when you need a screwdriver, right? Right? You need a screwdriver. They ain't got a screwdriver. They use a butter knife. They use a butter knife. Hey, it's okay. It's, it's got a flat edge. It'll do the same thing. That's the kind of people we're dealing with. You know, heaven forbid that they get one of these that actually have the Phillips and the regular one. Actually, this is position flex. It's an okay screwdriver. But it's not as good as one that's made to do just the other one. The other ones, you know, the handles are a little bit bigger, you know, a little bit tighter. You can really grip them and stuff like that. You know, this one is kind of like, eh. Yeah, any, anyway, I digress. The problem, and let me say shout out to my man, Brian SoCal, because he shared this picture. Now, I remember two years ago, the last time I went to training camp. And I just finished getting my car rental and everything else and how much that's going to cost for eight days out there, not to mention the hotel room. And then there's the flight tickets and I'm about to buy gas in California. And you know how high gas and everything else, and not to mention eat for eight days there, that this is very, very expensive money. Now, for the most part, the money's not going directly to the Cowboys. It's going to the hotel. They're going to make some money, the car rental industry and stuff. I'm, I'm going to have to pay the $20 to get the True Blue membership so I can get close to the fence. And then I'm going to have to fight the crowds. Oh, wait, there aren't any. That's right. Shout out to Brian SoCal. Brian SoCal, who's done quite a few of the graphics for me for Joe Boo. But take a look at this. That's Oxnard before practice. Okay? Now, what I want you to understand is... This is the first padded practice. Now, I get it. It's Tuesday. It's, you know, people have to go to work and stuff. But typically, you get a lot of people that come in just for training camp. And let's be clear. Oxnard, the weather is nice. The weather is nice, okay? It's about 75 degrees there. Yeah, you can be out in the sun and stuff, and you, you'll bake a little bit. But not like, you know, if you're in L.A. and it's like 95 and all that. The weather is beautiful. There's the beach that's out there. So you could actually have a vacation and things. And so when I look at this, understanding that two years ago when I was there on Tuesday for the second padded practices, the bleachers were full. The bleachers were full. And on that Wednesday when they were supposed to have a, the, the, the scrimmage, yeah, they, they kind of fooled us. There was supposed to be a scrimmage on Tuesday, right? Excuse me, Wednesday. Turns out it was supposed to be at 1130. It went off at 1030. And it was a walkthrough scrimmage for about 35 minutes. Fortunately, I had been 
going to practice early every day so I could set up and try to get some good shots and things like that. And I happened to be there before the scrimmage happened and watched it. And I'm leaving as most people were coming. Yeah, that's not good. So looking at this, where the Cowboys, you know, you got to pay your True Blue membership, right? If you want to be in the platform up there, that's $250. Um, that people are probably a little fed up with the Cowboys and their lack of activity and figuring now or beginning to figure now that the Cowboys aren't going to change, that they're not changing, that Jerry Jones is always going to be the snake oil salesman, that he is going to tell you we're all in and back it up and say we're still we're really all in and then define it what all in is and it's not what most people think it's going to be and people feel like you're bullshitting us you're taking all of our money you're bullshitting us and we're not going to show up now me i'm an idiot i'm an idiot i'm going to end up showing up next week and i can see for myself is this going to be people there or not? And maybe, maybe this is the best thing for the Joneses. That as they sit here and don't have a deal done with CeeDee Lamb or Dak Prescott or somebody else, that the fans have checked out and their protest may lead to action. The Cowboys need to make some moves just to go ahead and appease the masses. Because right now, people are still pissed. People are fed up. People are tired of the same bullshit year after year after year of the Joneses. And they finally have caught in wind to the bullshit that is. Well, you know, he, 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 we're going to have to be Houdini to sign somebody, you know, because it's hard to pay, pay players. And we're just sitting seeing players paid left and right, you know, teams going out there and building the rosters and bringing in studs. Hearing players that say, hey, I'd like to go to Dallas and win a Super Bowl there. And the guys that are here, sadly, the guys that are here that are trying to do everything they can undermanded without having everything that they need are doing the best they can. The best they can. So you want to get mad at the Cowboys? Stop yelling and saying, well, Dak Prescott's not good enough. He's not like Roger Staubach. When Roger Staubach... Every year we challenge for a Super Bowl. Yeah. But take a look at how many Hall of Famers were on those teams. How many Hall of Famers do you have? I, I know everybody's going to say, well, you got all them pro bowlers and everything else. Even pro bowlers aren't the same as they were back in the 70s, bro. Because nobody goes to the pro bowl anymore. It's not in Hawaii. It's not at the end of the season. The two teams going to the Super Bowl, their players aren't going. So those guys are fill-ins that wouldn't be on the Pro Bowl roster if their team was actually good and going to the Super Bowl. And then people say, I'm not going to Orlando. So again, they get more fill-ins. You may, may be down seven, eight, nine in a position for the Pro Bowl. It's not all that. But the Joneses, bro. They got to do something to turn this ship around because right now, Dallas Cowboy fans' support, I feel like, is at an all-time low. Good luck with this shit sandwich, Jerry. You're the one that can fix this shit. Have a good evening. Peace out.